Hi guys, welcome to this video about what you can do if your rendered video from Cyberlink Power Director looks like this instead of instead of this. So here is the whole story. This is the project that I've done. I have connected a couple of uh, video clips, sound, some kind of text and so on and it looked really good for me and i was ready to render it when to produce and then i picked the best uh, profile which i thought is suitable for that because i had 2.7k 60 frames per second uh, footage so i took exactly uh, here here we have it uh, i took exactly this profile and clicked on start and I rendered it and then it came out like this here yeah so actually looked really bad but the thing is when you go I mean this is uh, played by VLC the video LAN uh, player and of course you have possibilities to open this with other players like the photos from i think it's microsoft and here the thing looks way better so i thought why not to give it a try and upload to youtube and see what it ha what happens and this was the first attempt so definitely i mean it uh, when i clicked on that it would be the same as in the preview same problem as with vlc so i went back to the cyberlink power director and i thought yeah okay um yeah what i started with was the thing here make it a little bit bigger so i yeah i restarted the program i mean i saved the project and i restarted the powerlink cyber director and then i went to file and reopened the project and did everything again and so it didn't help uh, didn't do anything so then i thought yeah okay let's do uh, make uh, let's make another project so you can mark it with control a control c control n for new project then click here control v and then you have actually the same content in a new project and i went to produce and did the same with same settings uh of course the 2.7 uh, 60 frames and the same problem happened again and yeah i was a little bit lost and um yeah as a last resort option i thought okay maybe let's go a little bit uh lower in settings and i was choosing the 1080p 30 frames even when it was different actually to the original video footage but i thought yeah maybe it's uh it's better for vlc and for youtube and i rendered that and that was the outcome of this so you can see it was doing great and also on youtube again here on youtube first attempt that was i think with 2.7k 60 frames that was with 30 frames and then i switched to 1080p 30 frames and that was the final uh, solution to solve this case so i don't know why this really happened uh, for me it absolutely makes no sense so if you are stuck in the same situation as i just suggest that you do same thing play around with uh, resolution and frames and maybe as a last resort option take 1080p 30 frames maybe this is a thing which works uh, usually so i have the details if you want to have them uh, that's the video um yeah resolution frames and frame type everything so if you need to uh give it a try maybe you can use exactly same settings i make this a little bit bigger so you can 
um, pause that and see everything and maybe it's also related to the audio but I don't actually think so but if you want to have exactly same settings here the audio settings as well so that's everything here and yeah uh, I hope I, I, I hope that it works for you too if you're stuck in the same situation and yeah so yeah that's it for now uh, I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments or you have different I mean easier better solution whatever it would be really nice if you could write it down into the feedback area and we could have a little bit of talk about that and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time